Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Lorraine from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. I'm going to be doing your reading for today, um, Monday 18th of January 2021. This is the day of when I received the messages for you. I have received a really lovely love message. A love um, intuitive um, message. Um, somebody has finally, 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 finally met the person of their dreams. I was getting a message saying, I'm getting um, a saying that was saying, we've already met. We've already met. Um, it's either a saying that where there's some kind of introduction to some people, maybe this is you finding new work, going into a new job been introduced to your new colleagues and then there's just that one person who just sparks it all off for you and when you get introduced it's either yep we've just met so you know this person already or it's an energy that is given off that you feel as if you've already met this person okay so this could be a past life energy a return of a past life soulmate that's re-entered into your life but this really feels beautiful because I feel that I'm connecting with somebody who has been on their own for so long and they were just looking in love in the, you know, for love in the wrong places. Obviously, you would have done your inner work. You've now set healthy boundaries for yourself. Um, even though you are a beautiful and lovely person, you were surrounded by people who never saw you that way. They just saw you as a convenience um, like a convenience store to pop into whenever they wanted to or to pop around to see you whenever they wanted to just to stay for a little while and then leave leaving you on your own leaving you without affection but that was because you just allowed it at the time just so that you could get a little bit of affection from somebody a bit, a bit of love from somebody that would have been enough to keep you going um, but obviously over a period of time, it's as if somebody had really hurt your heart and really disappointed you the most that caused this change. But what I'm picking up here is that finally you have met somebody now that is going to really be your person. Um, I do sense family and friends are going to be so happy to hear of your news, which is again, amazing. Um, so let's just get stuck into this reading. Let's just get into the cards a little bit more and just find out a little bit more what's happening, um, what this means for you, all right? So what we'll do, we are going to start off with the Sacred Destiny, okay? So this is general, guys. It's not a personal message. Please do take what resonates, and it is timeless as well. We're focusing on the energy here. So it could be male or female. Um, it could be same-sex relationship or straight relationship. It's entirely your call and what you take with this, all right? So let's see what this is about. Spirit, this is Lorraine. This is going to be a reading for somebody who's just met somebody finally. What messages do you have for them? We have got transformation. So as I said to you, you were going through a massive upheaval of who you were before in comparison to who you are right now. You have everything going for you now because I feel that the universe has rewarded you with somebody that you now finally definitely deserve to have in your life. I feel that there was somebody else that you really, really, really wanted. You really wanted to be with them. However, it just wasn't you. You weren't meant to be with this person. Yes, they were meant to be in your life, but they were meant to teach you a valuable life lesson about you and about what love really isn't about. Um, and obviously they completed their job, their assignment, and you've been released now to go on your way and meet somebody new. And look at this. We've got courage and we've got taking risks. This is really, um, this is really perfect because I find that before you probably were hope like feeling really hopeless that like, I'm never going to find somebody. I'm never, I, despite, you know, me f connecting with people and feeling a really lovely connection. We got on really well and then all of a sudden it just stopped. 
They never got to, you know, they never got to know the real me. I'm a loving person. I've got a lot of love to give. I will look after this person. I'm stable. I'm financially secure. I'm intelligent. I've got education. I've got my, you know, certificates. So I've got my PhD or my, you know, um, you know, if you're a psychiatrist or a doctor or a lawyer, anything. But it's about the connection that you have with you and yourself your higher self, in order to bring in that person. And I feel that you were somebody that learned the hard way. What that also meant as well is that where you failed in love, you didn't fail in other areas of your life as well. So this is why it made you have the time to really focus on you as an individual, like your finances, you started to work on that. Your, your appearance, you started to work on that. Your money section, you started to work on that. Your home, you started to work on that. The location of where you are, you started to work on that. Your job, your career, finance, everything, you started to work on those areas. But I feel that what you didn't focus on was the love. Because I found that, I feel that once you work in all of those other areas, love comes and finds you. You don't even have to look for it. It just pops up, okay? Which is absolutely amazing. So we've got transformation, we've got courage, and we've got taking risks. And I feel that even the courage and the taking risks comes before the transformation because it really took a lot of courage for you. Um, in any order, it doesn't really matter what it's in, but it really took a lot of courage for you to take that risk in order to transform into this beautiful person that really has now found the person of your dreams, okay? And this could be a long-term partnership, life partner, um, you know, or they're just somebody that's coming into your life that is going to bring you a lot of joy, okay? So let's get stuck into the reading. It really is so, it's a very happy energy, but it's also a bit sad as well. You know, it's like, I feel that somebody's really feeling like they're praying and thanking God for bringing this person into their life because I feel that you was just so, you never thought it was possible, but you needed to have the faith. You know, you took the risks, you took what you needed to do, you did what you needed to do in order to move on and move away from those people who never valued you, who never saw your worth. That's really their problem, all right? That's down to them. And I know that the universe is lining you up, you know, lining you up with people who will just look at you and think, wow, you are amazing. We have got the Queen of Shells, peace and compassion. And I feel that this soft, beautiful, feminine energy um, that, you know, was all about you caring for yourself, loving yourself, pointing yourself first. This was what was able to bring in this beautiful energy of love towards you. The next card that we've got is the Nine of Feathers in reverse. So you were in a, a sense of fear and sleepless nights, but you now have transformed so you were no longer feeling afraid. You were no longer feeling fearful of, you know, worried about dying alone, growing old on your own. OK, because I know that these are things that were on your mind as well. We've got the star card. You were starting to find hope and peace again within yourself. You started to see the visible results for yourself because of the commitment that you made for yourself to stay in this energy of self-improvement. You're probably getting a lot of compliments from people. Oh, that's a nice dress. I like that hairstyle. I like that color hair that you've put in your hair. Um, the haircut or the suit that you're wearing really brings out your eyes, the color of your eyes. Whatever's going on, you were starting to get a lot of attention that was about the compliments, but it was coming from a place of good, okay? And the next card that we've got for you is the Emperor in reverse. So I feel that what was going on here is that you weren't stepping in your power. There was no focus right now. But I see that now you were going to have the ability to allow this energy to come towards you, either in the shape of another person or this is about you that will be coming in to your own power. And we have got the Eight of Shells. So it could be um, the fact that you needed to walk back on yourself. You needed to return back to being you, your, you know, who you were really meant to be and start to work on this energy. All right. This fire sign energy. OK. Focus and stability. The amount of times that you were going on journeys, looking for fulfillment, looking for love in all the wrong places. 
You needed to come back to yourself because the emperor within you needed looking after. You needed to look after the emperor in you, not in anybody else but yourself. Next card that we've got. Okay, wow, so many cards. Oh, Spirit, I don't like when this happens, but it feels to me as if I need to take them. I'll take them. Let's see what we've got. We've got the Queen of Crystals, comfort and prosperity. The moment that you would have started to work on yourself, okay, um, and walk back towards you, you would have started to work on your stability your finances your home your career everything remember what i said to you, you started to put love on the back burner okay not give it out to everybody but give it back to yourself we've got the four of shells soul searching re-evaluation so as i said to you you were putting love on the back burner not really wanting to engage in it with anything right now but more focusing on developing yourself i understand why these cards needed to be brought out thank you spirit for that the next card that we have is the Nine of Crystals in reverse, security and abundance. Now, the Nine of um, Crystals is the Nine of Pentacles, meaning that it's a single card, but it is in the reverse position. So meaning that you are no longer single. And the last card that we have got is the Two of Shells. Look at that, the Two of Cups. You've got the harmony, you've got the union. Oh, wow, this is amazing. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Feathers. So, again, the Page of Swords, no more needing to go out there and research or look for love online, if this is what you were doing, or spying on your ex. You don't need to do that anymore because you have got your person. Your person is right here. I don't need to cover anything in this reading. This is amazing. Let's just finish off this reading now. I, I, I don't have anything to add apart from messages for you from the romance angels seriously this is amazing all right let's pull some cards and see what kind of messages that we've got from spirit with regards to this gorgeous connection because it is beautiful hold on guys so the first card that we have got is pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you yes this is what you were doing you wasn't doing it before. You realize that, you know something, I need to be very careful about how I step, where I step, what I will allow into my life and what I wouldn't allow into my life. Doing so has made it more easier for you to meet somebody new. And we have got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you closer or help bring you together. This is what you were doing. The universe heard you. The universe heard you. Send me somebody into my life. Bring me somebody into my life. The universe said, well, you put your work in for yourself and then this is what we will do for you. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This person that you are with or you are destined to meet or you have just met, they are the one for you. If you can resonate with this reading, they are your person. We have got free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You've done this already. You've already done this. You've already, this is where you started to put in the work. The moment that you freed yourself from this feeling of heartbreak and loss, the universe started to work with you. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is going to be an amazing relationship. I'm telling you. The cards are saying it all. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Remember what I said to you? We've already met. You've already met them. As I said, it could be a past life energy. And the last card that we've got is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Guys, what can I say? I'm going to leave it right here for you, okay? This is amazing. I'm so happy. Whoever is in this energy right now, oh my God, I'm so happy for you. You really have deserved this. And I feel that the universe has pulled out the stops to make sure that you they, they bring you your person. Really, really amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching this reading. This is what I've got for you. Take care. I will be back with another reading for you all. Peace out.